Are you interested in learning more about sound and music? What is sound? How sound made? How does it propagate? How do we control it? And how do we hear and perceive sound? What's special about musical sound? Do you like electronic stuff? Do you wonder how things work? Do you like to tinker with electronics? How do we convert sound into electronic signals? Then how do we modify and amplify those signals? And then how do we convert them back into sound? And what do sound, music, and electronics all have to do with each other? In this course, we're going to answer those questions and a lot of other questions that you probably haven't even thought of yet. My name is Mark Bacco. I'm the chairman of the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department and director of the program in Audio and Music Engineering here at the University of Rochester. Hi, I'm Rob Clark. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering here at the University of Rochester and I'm also dean of the Hagem School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Together in this course, Mark and I are going to introduce you to the fundamental ideas of musical acoustics and electronics. A lot of you love music and you probably also have a passion for technology and electronic music. In this course, we're going to talk about the fundamentals of that field, but we're also going to apply those fundamentals to building a project that you can build at home along with the course. But what is this project? Well, Mark, it's a guitar amplifier. While we don't have time to build one of those in four weeks, we'll show you how to build this. A 10-watt practice guitar amplifier. Some of the acoustic topics that we're going to cover in this course include oscillations of strings and air columns, sound waves, frequency and pitch, amplitude and loudness, transmission, reflection, refraction, diffraction of sound waves, how loudspeakers work, and how to design efficient and good sounding speaker cabinets. In the area of musical electronics, we'll start off by learning about the basics of electricity, including charge, voltage, and current, power, impedance, and all that. Then you'll learn about electrical signals, voltages and currents that change over time, and things like how guitar pickups and microphones work. Then we'll talk about how electrical signals can be modified and amplified by electrical circuits, and how that affects what you hear when those signals are converted back into sound. So if you complete our course, you're going to learn something about the fundamental science and technology behind audio and musical sound. And you'll learn how to use that knowledge to build some neat stuff. 